Hi there everyone, welcome to Engineering Preetam and in this PTC Career Parametric series. And in this video, we will be continuing with our pattern tool. Pattern tool, as we know, is used to create multiple instances of a particular feature. Today's video is going to be very special guys because we will be talking about a pattern that lets you completely customize the instances. Today we will talk about table pattern. If you want to see other different type of patterns that we have covered so far, then do check out the description where uh, we have added links of uh, dimension, direction, axis, as well as fill pattern video. Or if you are interested in complete PTC Creo parametric course, then do check out the whole playlist that uh, again, I'm going to attach in the description of this one. So now let's talk about the table pattern. So first of all, let me select the instance or form I would like to create pattern of. And then you will see actually I have created this group and in this group actually we are replicating or I would say creating pattern of two features. Now after selecting group, uh, let's select the pattern and this time let me use this mini toolbar. And uh, I mean you can also select this from here model tab and group. Let's click on pattern. And now from here, let me select this time table. Okay. And as I said, the table pattern have a unique capability, unlike linear or circular pattern where features follow straight or radial path, table pattern allow you to define a completely custom layout using a table. It is perfect for irregular or unique arrangements. Now, first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the variables. Okay. So let's say this 50 is the variable and then I'm going to press control and I'm going to select this uh, Y also as a variable. Then you need to think of what else you want to vary. For example, uh, let's say this height I would like to vary and the length of it. Okay. Now, um, just for fun, I'm going to also vary this radius. After selecting all my variable that I would like to customize, now I need to click here on edit table. Okay. And here now you will see all your variable exist here. All we need to do here is we need to add numbering. So let's say two, and then I'm going to say three. And I think let's just see these three instances here. How are we going to play with it? Okay. So this is our first variable 50. How much it needs to be? So I'm going to say, uh, let's say this one needs to be 30. Okay. So I think the position will be here somewhere in this line. Then let's talk about this 2.5. Uh, I'm going to make it like 30. Okay. So that one gave enough distance between this instance and another one. Okay. So now time came to vary this height. Let's make it 15. Then um, this length. Uh, let's make it 12 or let's say 9. Okay. Now time came to change the radius. Let's make. 0.5 okay similarly uh, let's also add it other side so i'm gonna say minus 15 and this one which is this uh, let's make it minus 30 and height let's make it 7 then this 10 mm width let's keep it 10 and then this radius let's make it 0 0.6 okay now after creating this table, um, let's close this. And now here you can see the preview of these two instances. Let's click OK. And there we go guys, completely customize instances. So table pattern is really very powerful when we would like to completely customize the instances. Uh, however, the basic feature will remain same. So that's how we can create a table pattern in PTC Creo Parametric. I would say it is a fantastic tool for creating a precise non-uniform pattern quickly and efficiently. And that's all guys from my side in this video. If you found this tutorial helpful and informational, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon for more such engineering related topics. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon in the next video. Till then, you take care and bye bye.